Are you curious how ClickFunnels 2.0 is different from the ClickFunnels platform that we all are used to and if it's worth moving your funnels to ClickFunnels 2.0? In this video we are going to compare the two platforms and draw the conclusion. We are going to compare ClickFunnels 1.0 and ClickFunnels 2.0 based on the user experience, features and pricing plans. If you don't want to wait and just want to take a look at ClickFunnels 2.0 new platform, you can find the link to a free 14-day trial in the description of the video. Now let's start our comparison with the user experience. From the first glance at ClickFunnels 2.0, you can say that the platform has a modern look and sleek design. Because ClickFunnels 2.0 offers more features, it may be slightly challenging in the beginning to find everything that you need. But after a week or so of working with the platform, you get the hang of the structure. In general, ClickFunnels 2.0 got a look that is common for software platforms, with the navigation menu on the left, and it also made a few things easier for users. For example, in ClickFunnels Classic, you need to add products to each funnel separately. In ClickFunnels 2.0, products are, so to say, universal, which means once created, you can use them on your site, on your different funnels, and you can manage all the products in the product section. The next update is a visual representation of the funnel flow and also email sequences or automations. In ClickFunnels 1.0, we have the representation of the funnel steps or the steps in the follow-up funnel, so the email automation, on the left. And this list would show us the order of the funnel steps in the new platform. We have it differently. You have the flow visualized the way you would map it out on paper or some funnel planning software like Gero, for example. You can see your funnel steps and also the actions that you can add in between and how the contacts all leads. Same is valid for the follow-up funnels, which are now called workflows. Similar to autoresponders, like for instance active campaign, you can create a sequence of actions that includes triggers, emails, conditions, and different actions. And these all, so the, all the actions and all the emails that you want to include in the sequence will be visualized for you. Additionally, ClickFunnels 2.0 introduced something called workspaces. When you create your account, you get one workspace, or if you pick the plan that included multiple workspaces, then you get a few of them. Why does it matter? Because one workspace allows you to create only one site and only one block. It matters if you have different branches of the business and want to actually separate, want to have two sites, let's say, or different sites for different branches of your business, different blocks, you will not be able to create it in one workspace, you would need multiple workspaces in ClickFunnels 2.0. Now let's move further and compare the features of ClickFunnels 1.0 and ClickFunnels 2.0. I will go over the features that we had in ClickFunnels 1.0 and see if we have them in the new platform. Let's start with the funnels. Here in the funnel step, we have funnels contact sales, funnel marketplace, and the quick access to building a funnel. The focus of ClickFunnels 1.0 was mostly on funnels. While in ClickFunnels 2.0, funnels also play one of the main roles, the platform aims to become more than just a funnel builder and offer all the tools you would need for your online business in one place, in one platform. That's why, of course, we have also the possibility to build funnels in ClickFunnels 2.0 and you will find them under the section Site and Funnels. Actually, the page editor or the funnel editor in ClickFunnels 2.0 became more powerful. Let's see briefly how it works. In general, we have the same principle here that we have sections, then the rows, and then we can add different elements that we need, for example, a paragraph and a headline, but the editor seems to be smoother and also a bit faster. What definitely changed, and I will show you in a moment, is the possibility to format your elements, format your text. For some things that you can now do in ClickFunnels 2.0, you would need to use custom code in ClickFunnels Classic. Let's have a look. For example, if we want to edit our headline, First of all, we could already create a style guide before and set the styles for headlines, for paragraphs, for subheadlines, button, and different shadows, different borders, and it will be stored and each element that we add in the page editor would have that style. 
Then we also can customize this style for a specific element. We can do it here, same as in ClickFunnels Classic, we also can adjust the margin, padding. Here, what I mentioned, we can switch between different styles that we already created in the style book, and we can just adjust the style of this specific element. Look how many possibilities of formatting we have here. Not just changing the text, and changing the weight, which wasn't possible in ClickFunnels 1.0. We can adjust the font size, that's clear. Letter spacing, letter spacing on mobile, line height, both on desktop and mobile, color for bold text, regular text, link and icon color. Then different possibilities that I guess we also had in ClickFunnels 1.0. Here we can also adjust the opacity of the text. Add some background if you want. We can also add some shadow to the text and also set the direction of the shadow and blurriness and color and set the icons before and after. I want to just briefly show you another element, like image. For the image we have also same settings in ClickFunnels 1.0, but on top of that we can adjust the corners of the image, how they will look like. Those are the styles again from the style book. And as you can see the radius of the corners changing. We can set the border for the image we can also add the shadow, which really looks nice. Not this one, but a slight shadow and without a border. And I really love it because you can make your page look prettier and you don't have to use custom code for that. On top of that, ClickFunnels 2.0 introduced something called universal sections. What's that? That's the section that you need to create once and then you can add it to all your pages, your funnels, the pages on your site and so on. And if you need to change something in this section, you will only need to change it in the universal section, update it, and then the update will be populated on all the pages where you had this universal section. It wasn't possible in ClickFunnels 1.0 and it makes your life really easier. For example, you would need to add a footer here. We have some templates. You would need to click save, then make section universal and add the name and click save section. Now this footer became a universal section and every time you want to edit it, you just need to click edit section and then the changes will be populated to every footer that you have all over your funnels and your site. So the ClickFunnels also had contacts and sales in the funnels section and we will go back to the dashboard in ClickFunnels 2.0. And the new platform also has the contacts section that will let you to have an overview of all the contacts and manage them. And we don't have just sales, the ClickFunnels 2.0 has the extended analytics. It will let you see what's going on on your site and on your funnels and provide with a lot of data. And if you go to reporting, you can also see more details about your sales by funnel and by product, page views, updates, and what I like a lot, the course progress. And we briefly go back to site and funnels because I want to show you that in ClickFunnels 2.0 you will be able to create not just funnels, but also different kinds of pages. Your site that I already mentioned with different pages, the blog, customer center, and of course courses. So now you will not need membership funnels like we had in ClickFunnels 1.0 and you can create your course here. And moreover, the videos for your course, the lessons will be hosted on ClickFunnels directly. Let's go back to ClickFunnels Classic. Next, we have follow-up funnels, which include broadcasts and also the email sequences or follow-up funnels, how they are called. As I already mentioned, the ClickFunnels 2.0 has the marketing section, which is replacing the follow-up funnels, and the follow-up funnels are now called workflows. The workflow can include the emails that you want to send to your contacts. It will also include a trigger, and different actions and also conditions that you want to use. And in the future, as you can see here, ClickFunnels team will add the sequences of emails. Next, we have the backpack in ClickFunnels Classic, which is the affiliate management tool. And to be honest, it was not the best affiliate management tool, but ClickFunnels 2.0 also will introduce the possibility to manage your affiliates with the Affiliate Center. It's not available at the moment, but will be available in the future updates of the platform. So that's basically everything that we have in ClickFunnels 1.0. And 
those features we have already in ClickFunnels 2.0 and on top of that we have much more like for example we can create not just funnels but also a site and a blog and a chorus and different pages and what else we have here we have a separate management of the products as I mentioned and it's done really easy in ClickFunnels 2.0 we have the order management section where you will have a look at your orders and possibility to manage them. We have extended analytics already mentioned, the sales section, which is not available right now, but will become your CRM when launched, and the payments AI section. That's, to be honest, one of the things that I don't like about ClickFunnels 2.0, that they introduced this payments AI integration and there is not a lot of information about payments AI. That's why it's not clear if it's the solution that they built internally and just integrated into the platform or they bought it from somewhere. First you will need to create an account in payments AI and then you will be able to connect your Stripe or PayPal account in the future. But the thing is that um, this payments AI integration is not available in all the countries. So they have a list of restricted countries for merchants. And additionally, for Stripe, for example, you will be charged 1% processing fee. And the last thing that's left to compare is pricing plans. In ClickFunnels 1.0, we have two plans. It was a basic plan for $97 per month or a platinum plan for 297 per month. And if you paid annually, you could have saved a bit. Just to mention, in case you don't know, the sign up for ClickFunnels 1.0 is closed. Right now you cannot create new accounts. You can just use an existing account and then you can only create an account for ClickFunnels 2.0. Of course, on the basic plan, we had some limitations, like for example, 20 funnels, 100 pages and 20,000 visitors, unlimited amount of contacts and so on. And the Platinum plan offered more possibilities and also removed limits for funnels, pages, visitors and contacts. Let's see what we have in ClickFunnels 2.0. They have right now three plans and the lowest plan starts at 147 per month. Of course, if you switch to the annual billing, then you can save a bit and it will cost you only $127 per month. What do we have here? We have the limitation to one site that's what I mentioned, one workspace, one site, one block, 20 funnels, one admin user, one domain, 100 students, 10,000 contacts, but we have the unlimited amount of workflows, pages, products, and email sequences, and basic analytics. Just want to point out that the basic plan misses some crucial features, like for example, API access that you may need for integrating with different platforms and third-party services, the share funnels if you want to use them, and then it also doesn't include the ClickFunnels 1.0 maintenance mode, which means that you pay for your ClickFunnels 2.0 subscription and your ClickFunnels 1.0 account would be in maintenance mode, which according to the support means that you can create new funnels, you can only maintain the funnels that you have there and then build new funnels only in ClickFunnels 2.0. Moving on, next we have the Pro Plan, which is priced at $197 per month. And here we have also only one website, but higher limits for funnels, admin users, domains, courses, students, and contacts. And on this plan, we can use API access, share funnels, and ClickFunnels classic maintenance mode. And the last plan for ClickFunnels 2.0 is the Funnel Hacker plan, which is right now priced at $297 per month. And as you can see, the price may be increased in the future. And that's the plan that actually includes three websites, meaning three workspaces and three blocks. And it has a limited amount of funnels, 15 admin users, that's a lot, 9 domains, 200 courses, 20,000 students, 200,000 contacts, and a lot of other unlimited features like workflows, pages, products. And this plan actually includes advanced analytics instead of basic analytics that are available on Pro and Basic plan. If we briefly go back to the ClickFunnels 1.0 pricing plan, here we also have the Platinum plan priced at 297 with unlimited funnels and pages and unlimited contacts. But Funnel Hacker plan on the ClickFunnels 2.0 platform is also priced at $297 per month. And we can also build the unlimited amount of funnels and have the unlimited amount of pages. We have the limit for the contacts, but let's be honest, 200,000 contacts is quite a lot. And on top of that, we also have 
the additional features that ClickFunnels 2.0 platform has to offer. So it feels like in terms of price, the Funnel Hacker plan of ClickFunnels 2.0 is actually a great deal. And if we compare it with the pricing for the ClickFunnels 1.0 Platinum plan, it's the same price, at least right now, maybe in the future it will be increased, but you get more features. Of course, it's up to you to decide if you want to use the new platform and if so, when you want to move your funnels to ClickFunnels 2.0, because it's still new and as it happens with any new software, there are still some bugs, there are still some issues, and there are still some features missing. But to be honest, the ClickFunnels team is working hard on adding more features, adding updates and fixing the bugs. Now you know the difference between the two platforms, ClickFunnels Classic and ClickFunnels 2.0 and can make your decision if you want to move to the new platform. If you want to start a free 14-day trial, the link to the trial is in the description of the video down below. And if you use our link to start the trial and also create your ClickFunnels 2.0 account, you will get free access to our ClickFunnels 2.0 mastery course to help you shorten the learning curve with the new platform. If this video was useful, like it, subscribe to our channel and see you in the next videos. Bye-bye!